right, so I'm here to do my makeup basket of the week, and let's get started. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. So this is what it looks like, and these are the shades. So just like that, I'm gonna be using that this week. It's got good mattes and transition colors, so I don't need to use any other palette. I'm still gonna use my Camouflage Concealer Palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna be using the Lorac Perfection Foundation that I showed in my haul. So I'm gonna use that this week. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match in C6 because I think this foundation is gonna be a tad dark. So I'm gonna use this so it can kind of balance it out. And that foundation has a little bit of red or orange on the tone, so I wanna use this because it has a little bit more yellow in it. I'm gonna use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Silky Beige because I really like this when I use it. I've always liked it um, to set my concealer, so I'm gonna use that. Um, another face product is gonna be the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights. I'm gonna mix this in with the foundation after I wear it a couple of times without it to see how I like it and if I want to add a little bit glow or dewiness to it then I'm going to use this. Uh, for primers, I pulled out two primers. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. This is supposed to be for like pores and lines, fine lines and wrinkles. So I'm going to use this. I mainly have fine lines under my eyes. I don't really have an issue with pores or anything like that but I wanted to go ahead and use this because I have it so I'm going to use this under my eyes and then I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer all on the other parts of my face. And for concealers I want to use the MAC Pro Long Wear and NC45. This is my favorite concealer for under the eyes, full coverage and lasts all day. Uh, I'm still using the Sephora concealer because I really do like this under the eyes, so I'm going to use that. I'm really glad I didn't return it and I found other ways to use it because I really do love it under the eyes. So this is like my second favorite concealer, which is the first one will be my MAC Studio Finish. For blush, I'm going to use the NYX HD blushes, which I really do enjoy. If you saw my haul when I hauled them, and they also I did a review on all the NYX products that I purchased. And I really did love these blushes. So this one is in Amber. And I also have one in Double Dare. So for color tattoos, I'm going to use Pomegranate Punk. I'm going to use Pomegranate Punk because there is a cranberry color in here. And I might end up doing like a fall, another fall look tutorial. And I might end up using this. And I also have Beijing Beauty. I'm going to use that. You know, if I'm not using the pomegranate punk. For eyeshadow primers, I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer. So for eyebrows, I'm going to use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in Espresso. And since this is waterproof, I don't really need to set it, so I will not have a brow gel this week. So for mascaras, this combo right here, I really love it. So this is NYX Skinny Mascara. And this is Wet n Wild Max Volume Waterproof Mascara. And let's see. And for an eyeliner, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal, the Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to use that. And I narrowed down my lip products because I noticed that I was putting a whole bunch of lip products in it. And I didn't get a chance to use every lip product. So I think I'm going to narrow it down to. Uh, five lip products at, le at the, that would be the maximum and it could be lower but the maximum is going to be five so I'm going to use Kat Von D Lolia again I'm going to use NYX uh, soft matte lip cream in Copenhagen just in case if I do a fall tutorial I want to do a a dark lip I'm going to use NYX T Rose which looks like this. It's a nice little nude. It's a nice nude, it looks good with matte chestnut liner or any kind of brown liner. I'm gonna use the Nana Coco in Uptown Girl and I'm also gonna use 
the Buxom Gloss in Dolly, which I do not have near me. That's like my holy grail. Love that gloss. It's probably, it's almost empty. That's probably the only lip gloss I've ever emptied. And I don't have that, but I'll put a picture of it or something in the video so you can see what I'm talking about. And that's all my products I'm going to be using this week. And I, hopefully I will be able to do a tutorial. But if not, I'll try to do a face of the day. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I saw on Instagram that Lorac was having 40% off of their perfection line. So I went to Ulta and picked up the foundation. This is the foundation.